Welcome to Spectrum Sphere, where we delve into a diverse world of discovery, spanning from the marvels of ancient history to the wonders of modern science. If you're passionate about learning and exploring, you've come to the right place. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our weekly content. Tutankhamun, often hailed as the Boy King, was a pharaoh of ancient Egypt's 18th dynasty. Born around 1341 BC as Tutankhaten, he descended from a line of rulers famed for their power and wealth. His father, Akhenaten, was a revolutionary pharaoh who upended traditional Egyptian worship. Ascending the throne at just nine years old, Tutankhamun's coronation was a significant event in ancient Egypt. Thrust into power after his father's controversial reign, he inherited a kingdom rife with turmoil. Despite his youth, he held the title of pharaoh, a role steeped in divine and royal authority. While the boy king occupied the throne, Egypt was under a magnifying glass of political unrest. Tutankhamun's reign was marked by attempts to restore traditional religion and mend the fractures caused by his predecessor's radical policies. Diplomatic struggles and internal power shifts were omnipresent, setting the stage for a challenging rule. Tutankhamun's reign, though brief, was pivotal. He reversed the controversial religious reforms of Akhenaten, restoring the worship of Amun and other gods. His building projects and restorations of temples were also significant moves to re-establish the old order and gain favor with the priesthood, a strategic play in a period of transition. Stepping back from the royal palace to the bustling streets, the daily life in ancient Egypt during Tutankhamun's era was a vivid tapestry of activity. Artisans crafted exquisite works, farmers toiled along the Nile's fertile banks, and traders bustled in the markets, all under the watchful eyes of the gods they revered. Surrounded by seasoned advisors, young Tutankhamun wasn't alone in governance. Figures like Ai and Horemheb played pivotal roles guiding the pharaoh through complex political landscapes. Their influence is evident in the reversal of Akhenaten's religious reforms, a return to traditional deity worship that reshaped Egypt's cultural and spiritual identity. Moving further into Tutankhamun's impact, we witness a significant shift in Egyptian worship. Tutankhamun's reign marked a restoration of the old god's prominence, overturning Akhenaten's monotheistic revolution. Temples were restored and the priesthood reinstated as he guided Egypt back to its traditional polytheistic roots, reinforcing stability in a time of religious turmoil. Turning to Tutankhamun's personal life, he married his half-sister Ankhesenamun to consolidate royal bloodlines, a common practice in ancient Egypt aiming to preserve the divine lineage. Their union, however, was marked by personal tragedy with records suggesting they endured multiple stillbirths, deeply impacting the royal family's continuation and the young couple's life. The mystery of Tutankhamun's death has baffled experts for decades. Despite his young age, theories about his demise range from accidental injuries to potential assassination plots. Recent scientific analyses, including CT scans, suggest he may have succumbed to complications from a broken leg, possibly exacerbated by malaria. Yet, the debate continues. Moving from the mysteries surrounding his untimely death, we shift focus to the remarkable discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb. It was November 1922 when archaeologist Howard Carter, funded by Lord Carnarvon, uncovered steps leading to a sealed doorway. The world held its breath as the young king's final resting place was revealed. Transitioning to a remarkable figure in this tale, Let's delve into Howard Carter's integral role. An experienced Egyptologist, Carter's relentless pursuit under the patronage of Lord Carnarvon led to the greatest archaeological find of the century, Tutankhamun's tomb. His expertise not only unearthed history, but also pieced together the boy king's story. Inside the ancient tomb, Carter uncovered treasures beyond our wildest comprehension. Among the significant artifacts were the golden throne, the chariots, Tutankhamun's iconic burial mask, and the ornate canopic chest. Each piece, a masterwork of ancient craftsmanship, offered insights into the young pharaoh's life and the opulence of his time. Following the discovery came tales of a malediction, 
the curse of the pharaohs, claiming those who disturbed the king's rest would suffer misfortune. Despite the rumors, no evidence substantiates such a curse, and the deaths associated with the tomb's finders are attributable to more mundane natural causes. Transitioning from the dazzle of gold, we face the delicate matter of preservation. The tomb's artifacts withstood millennia, only to be threatened by modern exposure. Fluctuations in temperature, humidity, and even the breath of tourists necessitate sophisticated conservation strategies to protect these treasures for future generations. Behold the iconic gold mask of Tutankhamun, a masterpiece of ancient craftsmanship. Adorning the pharaoh's visage in death, this mask not only epitomized royal wealth, but also held deep religious symbolism. The radiant features were believed to parallel the sun god, ensuring the king's immortality and safe passage to the afterlife. Moving deeper into the tomb, we encounter the antechambers, where the layout itself reveals a story of haste in burial preparations. Here, treasures piled upon one another, a chariot, chests, and an array of furniture, each item a representation of royal life intended to accompany the young king into eternity. In the heart of the burial chamber, Tutankhamun's sarcophagus held court, surrounded by golden shrines and precious relics. From the intricate jewelry adorning his mummy to the ceremonial daggers meant to protect him in the afterlife, each artifact whispers tales of ancient Egyptian beliefs, craftsmanship, and the opulence of a pharaoh's final journey. Within the treasury, the canopic jars stand as silent guardians of Tutankhamun's mummified organs. According to ancient rituals, these vessels were critical for the afterlife, ensuring the young king's passage to eternity. Carved with an exquisite ensemble of deities, they reflect the Egyptians' fervent beliefs and their quest for immortality. Moving on to the vibrant hieroglyphs etched into the tomb's walls, we decipher a tapestry of ancient stories. These inscriptions are more than mere decoration. They serve as sacred texts guiding Tutankhamun's soul through the underworld. Each symbol is a piece of a larger narrative, revealing the spiritual roadmap for the boy king's afterlife journey. As we delve deeper into Tutankhamun's final resting place, let's pause to admire its architectural genius. The tomb, modest yet intricate, reflects the youthful pharaoh's status. Its layout, designed for eternity, features a series of descending corridors leading to the burial chamber, crafted meticulously to honor and protect the young king through the ages. Turning our attention to the remarkable artifacts within Tutankhamun's tomb, we observe the extraordinary craftsmanship. These treasures, from jewelry to furniture, showcase ancient techniques and a deep understanding of materials like gold, alabaster, and precious stones, each piece reflecting the skilled artistry that flourished in Tutankhamun's Egypt. Beyond the burial chamber lies the annex room, shrouded in mystery. It was packed with an eclectic assortment of items, from food, wine, to furniture, all essentials for the afterlife. But the exact purpose of this room remains a topic of debate among historians, adding yet another layer of intrigue to Tutankhamun's tomb. Turning our gaze from artifacts to the pharaoh himself, recent scientific analysis of Tutankhamun's remains has unveiled startling insights. DNA testing and advanced CT scans have provided clues to his lineage, health, and even the potential causes of death, piecing together a more complete picture of the boy king's life and lineage. The legacy of Tutankhamun reaches far beyond the ancient sands of Egypt, permeating modern culture and capturing public imagination. Depictions in film, literature, and art continues to immortalize the boy king, while the iconic golden mask remains a symbol of ancient mystery and allure in our collective consciousness. Traveling exhibits have allowed people around the world to engage with the treasures of Tutankhamun firsthand, sparking global fascination. These exhibitions not only share the wonder of ancient Egyptian civilization, but also play a pivotal role in international cultural exchange and the continued appreciation of our shared human heritage. The discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb marked a watershed moment in Egyptology. It propelled the field forward, introducing new archaeological methods and a deeper understanding of the New Kingdom era. 
Scholars continue to decipher the past as, as each artifact offers more insight into the life and times of the young pharaoh. Stepping away from the artifacts, we enter a digital realm where virtual reality recreations vividly bring ancient history to life. This immersive technology allows us to wander through Tutankhamun's tomb as if we were there, peering close at treasures and inscriptions, bridging millennia in a heartbeat. To ensure the story of the boy king endures, educational and cultural initiatives have been paramount. Museums and institutions worldwide have dedicated programs to teach new generations about Tutankhamun's impact, preserving his legacy through interactive exhibits, engaging lectures, and collaborative events that celebrate this timeless chapter of human history. As our journey through Tutankhamun's past continues, the horizon of discovery still brims with new opportunities. With cutting-edge technology, archaeologists are unwrapping the untold stories of his reign. From advanced DNA analysis to satellite imaging, these tools promise to reveal more about Tutankhamun, securing his narrative in the annals of history. Thank you for joining us on this historic exploration into the life of Tutankhamun. We hope you've enjoyed the journey through time with Spectrum Sphere. If you're curious for more discoveries, please show your support by clicking the like and subscribe buttons. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring with us.